are reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavours and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that grace and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Tenaisteling means may the Supreme Being keep everyone well. Namharik. I am Mira from cheerful Addis Ababa and prospering Ethiopia. We feel honored to be in the same country with the peace leaders and government. May our peace last forever. Ni hao, shijie各地美丽的观众们 means Hello, beautiful viewers from all over the world in Mandarin. I'm Ri Guang from Wise China. Our people congratulate you because protecting the planet is protecting ourselves and loved ones. How smart of you to do that. Thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, gracious news for a kinder world. Gracious news for a wondrous world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube and iOS or Android apps by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, the Vatican alters its stance on capital punishment. The United Nations approves humanitarian aid for those in need in Korea. Fish receive protection in Indian state. Queensland, Australia takes measures to protect children's health and new loving hut opens in Yilan County, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. Vatican declares capital punishment is never admissible. The Vatican has officially made changes to the Catechism of the Roman Catholic Church to declare that capital punishment is never acceptable, no matter the crime. Modified to reflect His Holiness Pope Francis's opposition to capital punishment, the Catechism, which sets forth the Church's teachings, now states the death penalty is inadmissible because it's an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person. In an official letter to bishops, the Vatican explained that offenders should be given the opportunity to be rehabilitated and be redeemed. According to global human rights organization Amnesty International, the majority of the world's nations have already abolished capital punishment. Your kindness and respect for all humans touches us deeply. Your Holiness Pope Francis, may your wise words be heeded by all countries and respectful methods of rehabilitation be quickly implemented. Delivery of humanitarian aid to Pyongyang supported by United Nations. The UN Security Council has approved the measures drafted by the United States to make certain that delivery of humanitarian assistance proceeds without impediments to reach those in need in Pyongyang, Korea. 
commenting on the new measures, head of aid operations for the International Committee of the Red Cross in Asia, Simon Shorno, said, We have been promised that they will speed up procedures, exemptions, and generally make processes run smoother. We're hopeful that the guidelines will make carrying out our work easier. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you, the United States and UN Security Council, for your caring actions and concerns. May the harmonious people of the Korean Peninsula be blessed with much abundance, as well as deepening peace and friendship. Up next on Noteworthy News, NGO supports free health care in Ghanaian community. It looks like a tiny bird is coming by our garden to say hello. We'll come out to visit for a minute. Be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more valuable news. Our planet has been going not into a very positive direction for a long, long time now. And we have been killing too many animals and making them suffer. Not just killing, but torturing and making them untold suffering. If we continue in our violent and abusive manner to less defensive beings, then the disaster will be upon us. And that's why we're having a lot of trouble right now. And even we can see it with the naked eyes, there's no need to talk about bad karma or retribution or heaven blessing or hell punishment, nothing. We are bringing our planet into a climate emergency right now. And that's why we have to change this. We must change it in order to save ourselves. We have to save our planet for us, for the children. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free to download at crisistopeace.org. Hi friends, I'm Akina, the Krishna Jinka, and I love being vegan. To help keep your digestive system healthy, remember to include fermented foods regularly in your diet. There are many to choose from such as kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, and vegan yogurt. They assist in strengthening your gut microbiome for better digestion. Thank you for watching and love you for being veg and going green to save the planet for all of us humans and non-humans alike. Now, weather from around the world.
Ghanaian community benefits from free health care. And Chroma's Restoration of Hope, a United States-based NGO, has teamed up with Achima Kwanwoma in southern Ghana to provide free health care to the people of Babu community within the region. In addition to the free health screenings for a variety of ailments, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, the NGO also provided potable water, clothing, and shoes to help improve the lives of less fortunate individuals. The district chief executive of Achima Wanwoma, the Honorable Nana Ochiri Tawi, encouraged local residents to routinely seek health checkups and assured that the free health services will additionally be held in other communities within the district. Many thanks, Nkrumah's Restoration of Hope and Achima Kwanwoma District for your wonderful initiative. May caring organizations and governments continue to collaborate to provide beneficial health care for those in need around the world. Indian state enacts ruling to protect fish. The Indian state of Uttarakhand has outlawed catch and release fishing, also called angling, in rivers and streams of forest areas in protected regions and tiger reserves. The ban was approved by Uttarakhand's chief minister, the Honorable Travendra Singh Rawat, who referred to the trauma and pain angling inflicts on fish. The first Indian state to enact an angling ban Uttarakhand earlier passed a law stating that domestic and wild animals have a distinct persona with corresponding rights, duties, and liabilities of a living person. We are moved by your righteous and protective legislation and applaud you, Uttarakhand. May all animals on land and water bodies live in safety and continue to bless our world with their innocence and love. Australian state takes measures to protect children's health. The Australian state of Queensland is planning to ban the sale of unhealthy snacks and sugary drinks in hospitals and healthcare facilities. Furthermore, junk food advertisements in schools, sports grounds, public transport hubs, community recreation centers, and other government spaces will be phased out. Speaking of the upcoming changes, Health Minister, the Honorable Dr. Stephen Miles said, our public health facilities can lead by example. By the end of the year, we will have a set of nationally agreed standards for healthier food and drink choices and public health care facilities. Kudos, Queensland, on your new reforms that will surely enhance the well-being of your bright children and citizens. May this shining example inspire other states to take such positive measures. Coming up, Doctors from Singapore perform free surgeries for children in Cambodia. We'll take a moment to thank all religions and organizations that advocate a compassionate vegan way of life. We'll be right back with more caring news here on Supreme Master Television. Nobel laureates were ethical vegetarians. Their dedicated pursuits of the mind were grounded in well-developed principles, strong personal philosophies which acknowledged the sentience of animals and the importance of making sustainable choices as a society. It's much more efficient and energy efficient to have a vegetarian lifestyle. I personally have been a vegetarian all my life and I don't see any reason to change. As long as people will shed the blood of innocent creatures, there can be no peace, no liberty, no harmony between people. Slaughter and justice cannot dwell together. Isaac Beshevi Singer, 1978, Nobel Laureate for Literature, Vegetarian. Until he extends the circle of his compassion to all living things, man will not himself find peace. Albert Schweitzer, 1952 Nobel Laureate for Peace, Vegetarian.
Vegetarian food leaves a deep impression on our nature. If the whole world adopts vegetarianism, it can change the destiny of humankind. Albert Einstein, 1921, Nobel laureate for physics, vegetarian. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, hopeful news for a contented world. Children in Cambodia receive free surgery. Children with a condition known as cleft lip and palate receive free surgery to correct the ailment. The surgeries, which took place over a period of five days, were performed through collaboration between the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital in Phnom Penh and a group of doctors from Singapore. Also, the hospital provided free accommodation and food to both the patients and their guardians. Our earnest appreciation for your generous assistance to children and their caregivers, Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital, and Singaporean doctors. May the sweet youngsters be blessed with a quick recovery and a life of good health and happy smiles and heaven's love. <laughs> New Loving Heart welcomed in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Following the footsteps of Loving Heart Shen Yue and Loving Heart Lodong in the radiant Ilang County of Taiwan or Formosa, Loving Heart Song Fong Yin celebrated its joyous and auspicious grand opening. The eatery is part of the ever growing global chain of 100% vegan restaurants, the Loving Heart International which exemplifies Supreme Master Ching Hai's ideal of offering affordable, healthy, and scrumptious plant-based fare to all. Featuring well-known traditional Taiwanese or Formosan dishes, Loving Hut Song Fong Yin delights its customers with a variety of colorful classic vegan delicacies, including scrumptious noodle soups and the popular signature dish, crispy, fragrant tofu. Chindani 纯素生活创造和平。纯素生活创造和平。爱家宋风云，好吃。宜兰爱家宋风云，欢迎您吃素环保，才能救世界。谢谢。纯素环保才能救世界。Congratulations, loving heart Song Fong Yin in Ilan, Taiwan or Formosa, on your successful opening. Our deep gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her loving encouragement of these life-affirming international vegan restaurants. We look forward to the day coming soon when the entire world embraces compassionate and delectable plant-based fare. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day entitled, A Little Faith. A climber fell off a cliff, and as he tumbled down, he caught hold of a small branch wedged in the rock. Full of fear, he cries out, Help! But there was no answer. Again and again, he cried out, but to no avail. Finally, he yelled, Help! Is anybody up there? A majestic voice boomed through the gorge. I will help you, my son. But first, you must have faith in me. Yes, yes, I trust you, cried the man. Let go of the branch, boomed the voice. Looking around, the man became full of panic. What? Have faith in me. 
Let go. I will catch you. There was a long pause, and the man shouted up again. Is there anyone else up there I could talk to? <laughs> and now we have a heart line from Papaya in Korea. Hello, my family lives in Korea. This show is full of love. Thank you for the good news. My son especially likes the weather around the world. Papaya. From Jeonbu, Korea. Hello, Papaya. Thank you for your kind hearted lines. We feel your love all the way from United Korea. Lots of smiles and hugs to you and your son. May heavens continue blessing peace loving Korea, Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heart lines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. It's been a pleasure having your company on Noteworthy News. May you be graced with an abundance of gifts from heaven. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. The Middle Way. Pendulum's swing returns to calm. The scale's arm settles into its balance. Wisdom emanates by its own perfection. A stable radiant shines henceforth. Original nature come the celestial harmonies. Inner and outer journeys finally become steady. The middle way.
Master says, since we don't want to have anything to do with either the positive or negative side, we have to transcend both and become friends with both. In this way, they won't bother us anymore. We have to go beyond the struggle between good and bad and positive and negative. Right now, we're still steeped in the war between positive and negative, but we need to become neutral, just as Switzerland is a neutral country. We have to arm ourselves with the power of God. As long as we're living in this world, we should remain positive, do good deeds, and avoid the negative as much as possible. We need not fight against it, but should avoid getting involved with it. As spiritual practitioners, we should behave like good worldly citizens, performing good actions, being righteous, and avoiding involvement in other people's affairs. Imbalances of yin and yang cause numerous disasters and misfortunes and create obstacles in our spiritual practice. As long as we call upon the inner master power to protect us, we can not only survive in this world, but also continue to be elevated spiritually. In the war of the positive and negative, we can return to God's kingdom smoothly and safely, only by following the middle way. Is wisdom good, or skill, or goodness? From what substance is the sky made? And how, and in what manner is the mingling of the water in the earth? Please watch on to find out more. Today's program will be presented in Persian with subtitles in Arabic, Olak Seas, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Thai. با سلام به شما بینندگان دوست داشتنی. من پیام از اهواز ایران هستم و به شما می پیوندم با آرزوهای خیر و مهربانانه مردم با فرهنگ ایران. در برنامه امروز به نام از متون مقدس مینوی خرد زرتشتیان فصل های چهار تا سیزده قسمت دو از دو باری دیگر به فضیلت باستانی متون زرتشتی می پردازیم. زرتشت پیامبری بود که حدوداً 1800 پیش از میلاد در شرق ایران میزیست. تعالیمی که ناشی از مکاشفات او از خداوند میباشند به عنوان آین زرتشتی شناخته شدند. حصول آین زرتشتی مبنی بر وجود خدای یگانه و سعادت یا پاداش فردی است که در نتیجه انتخاب اراده آزاد در داشتن گفتار نیک، پندار نیک و کردار نیک به دست می آید. زرتشت به عنوان یک فرد گیاهخوار به همه موجودات احترام میگذاشت و قربانی کردن حیوانات را من می کرد. تصور می شود که فلسفه جهانی وی بر فلسفه یونان و بر دیگر ادیان بزرگ دنیا تاثیر به سزایی داشته است. امروز از شما دعوت می کنیم تا به گزیده هایی از فصل های چهار تا سیزده از مینوی خرد یکی از متون مقدس زرتشتی گوش فرا دهید. هر نیکی و بدی که به مردمان و نیز به آفریدگان دیگر میرسد از هفتان هفت سیاره و دوازدهان دوازده برج میرسد و آن دوازده برج در دین به منزله دوازده سپاه خود از جانب اورمز و آن هفت سیاره به منزله هفت سپاه خود از جانب اهرمن خوانده شدهاند و همه آفریدگان را آن هفت سیاره شکست میدهند و به دست مرگ به هر گونه آزار می سپارند. به طوری که آن دوازده برج و هفت سیاره تعیین کننده سرنوشت و مدبر جهانند. کام اومه از نیکیست و هرگز آزار را نپذیرد. مورد قبولش نیست و نپسندد. و احرمن را آزار و بدی آرزوست. هیچ گونه نیکی نیندیشد و نپذیرد. اومه از چون بخواهد گاهی می تواند آفریدگان اهرمن را و اهرمن نیز چون بخواهد گاهی می تواند آفریدگان اورمز را بگرداند تغییر دهد ولی چنان می تواند بگرداند 
که سرانجام اورمزد را زیان نرسد چه پیروزی نهایی از آن اورمزد است چه پیداست که اورمزد جمشید و فریدون و کیکاووس را بی مرگ آفرید و اهرمن چنان آنان را تغییر داد که معروف است و اهرمن بیوراس زحاک و افراسیاب و اسکندر را چنان میپنداشت که جاودانند و اورمزد برای سود بزرگی که این کار در برداشت آنان را تغییر داد چنان که معروف است پرسید دانا از مینوی خرد که از اقلیمی به اقلیم دیگر میتبان رفت یا نه و آسمان از چه گوهری ساخته شده است و اختلاط آب در زمین چگونه و به چه آین است مینوی خرد پاسخ داد که از اقلیمی به اقلیم دیگر به جز به هدایت ایزدان یا دیوان نمیتوان رفت و آسمان از گوهر آهن درخشنده ساخته شده است که آن را الماس یا فولاد نیز خوانند و اختلاط آب در زمین همچون خون در تن مردمان است پرسید دانا از مینوی خرد که اهرمن بدکار و دیوان و فرزندانش با اورمزد و امشاسپندان هیچ گونه آشتی و دوستی با یکدیگر می توانند داشته باشند یا نه مینوی خرد پاسخ داد که به هیچ وجه نمی توانند داشته باشند چه من گفتار دروغ بدندیشد و کارش خشم و کین و قهر است و اورمز درستی اندیشد و کارش نیک و نیکی و راستی است و هر چیزی را می توان گردانید تغییر داد به جز گوهر نیک و بد گوهر نیک را به هیچ وسیله ای به بدی و گوهر بدی را به هیچ طریقی به نیکی نمی توان برگردانید اورمز به سبب نیک گوهری هیچ بدی و دروغ زنی را نپسندد و اهرمن به سبب بدگوهری هیچ نیکی و راستی را نپذیرد و بدین سبب ایشان را با یکدیگر هیچ گونه آشتی و دوستی نمیتواند بود پرسید دانا از مینوی خرد که خرد بهتر است یا هنر یا نیکی مینوی خرد پاسخ داد که خردی که با آن نیکی نیست آن را خرد نباید شمرد و هنری که خرد با آن نیست آن را هنر نباید شمرد پرسید دانا از مینوی خرد که چرا چیزهای مینو چنین درست و چیزهای گیتی چنین دروغ نادرست قسمت شده است مینوی خرد پاسخ داد که چیزهای گیتی در آغاز آفرینش چنان راست قسمت شده بود که چیزهای مینو و آفریدگان اورمز همه نیکی این آفریدگان را به عهده مهرما و آن دوازده برج که در دین دوازده سپاه بود نامیده شدند سپرد و آنان نیز برای به راستی عادلانه و سزاوارانه قسمت کردن آن را از اورمز پذیرفتند پس اهرمن آن هفت سیاره را که هفت سپاه بود اهرمن نامیدند برای برهم زدن و رو بودن آن نیکی از مخلوقات اورمز و برای مخالفت با مهرما و آن دوازده برج آفرید و هر نیکی که آن بروج به آفریدگان اورمز بخشند آن سیارات تا آنجا که توانایی به دانان داده شده است از آنان می رو بایند و به نیروی دیوان و دروجان و بدان می دهند. و چیزهای مینو برای این راست است که اومه از خدا با همه ایزدان و همشاسپندان مبرا از آسیبند و ستیز با اهرمن و دیوان و نیز حساب روان مردمان را عادلانه کنند. و هر که را کار نیک بیشتر است جای او در بهشت است و هر که را کار نیک و گناه با هم برابر است جای او برزخ است و اگر گناهش بیشتر است راهش به دوزخ است پرسید دانا از مینوی خرد که چرا گاوان و گوسفندان و مرغان و پرندگان و ماهیان هر یک از آنان به دانش خیش سزاروارانه صاحب آگاهی هند. ولی مردمان تا بر آنان آموزش نبرند و بسیار رنج و هزینه صرف نکنند نمی توانند دانش مردمی را بیابند و بدانند مینوی خرد پاسخ داد که 
مردمان در آغاز آفرینش چنان دانا بودند که هر کار نیک و گناهی که می کردند باداش کار نیک و عقوبت گناه را به چشم خیش می دیدند و هیچ گونه گناه از مردمان سر نمی زد. از سهرمن بدکار پاداش کار نیک و عقوبت گناه را نهاف و به این جهت در دین گفته شده است که از هر بدی که گنای بدکار ملعون احرمن با آفریدگان او مست کرد این چهار چیز بدتر و گرانتر است انگامی که مزد کار نیک و عقوبت گناه و اندیشه مردمان به فرجام کار را نهاف و به همین دلیل کیشها و گروش های نادرست بسیار را در جهان رواج داد و مردمان به علت ندانستن کار نیک هر کسی بیشتر به آن کیشی گرود و آن را نیک انگارد که آموزشش در آن بوده است و به خصوص آن کیشی نیرومندتر است که قدرت به آن باشد به جز در یک تا حکومت و پادشاهی گشتاس شاهنشاه که برای اینکه دین درست و راست مطابق گفتار آفریدگار او مرز را با بیگمانی و اطمینان بداند آن را از درتش سپیتمان یکتا پذیرفت که هر گونه چیز گیتی و مینو در بهدین مزه یسنان روشن و نیکو بیان شده و آری از گمان و معلوم کردیده است به جزاندین هیچ گروشی نیست که در آن امور گیتی و مینو را چنین نیکو بیان شده و روشن بتوان یافت و دانست اما کیشهای دیگر به سبب تناقضگوی بسیار آغشته و پیچیدند که گفتار آغازینشان با میانین و میانین با فرجامین بسیار بیشباهت است. بینندگان باشکو از شما برای همراهیتان با برنامه امروز از متون مقدس مینوی خرد زرتشتیان فصل های چهار تا سیزده قسمت دو از دو در کلام حکمت سپاس گذاریم. برنامه بعدی کنسرت جهان من را نجات دهید از مغولستان قسمت دو از چهار اینجا در سوپریم مستر تلویزیون است. امید است که هر روزه پذیرای عشق فراوان بهشت باشید. بعدا شما را می بینیم. Magnificent viewers, thank you for your company on today's episode of From Zoroastrianism's Sacred Minui Kharat, Chapters 4 to 13, Part 2 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Coming up next is Save Our World Concert from Mongolia, Part 2 of 4, here on Supreme Master Television. May you embrace heaven's abundant love every day. See you next time. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that grace and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. 
and nobility through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions. It's a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. A nice delaying means may the Supreme Being keep everyone well. Namharik. I am Mira from cheerful Addis Ababa and prospering Ethiopia. We feel honored to be in the same country with the peace leaders and government. May our peace last forever. means hello beautiful viewers from all over the world in Mandarin. I'm Ri Guang from Wise China. Our people congratulate you because protecting the planet is protecting ourselves and loved ones. How smart of you to do that. Thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, gracious news for a kinder world. Gracious news for a wondrous world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube and iOS or Android apps by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, the Vatican alters its stance on capital punishment. The United Nations approves humanitarian aid for those in need in Korea. Fish receive protection in Indian state. Queensland, Australia takes measures to protect children's health and new loving hut opens in Yilan County, Taiwan also known as Formosa. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. Vatican declares capital punishment is never admissible. The Vatican has officially made changes to the Catechism of the Roman Catholic Church to declare that capital punishment is never acceptable, no matter the crime. Modified to reflect His Holiness Pope Francis's opposition to capital punishment, the Catechism, which sets forth the Church's teachings, now states the death penalty is inadmissible because it's an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person. In an official letter to bishops, the Vatican explained that offenders should be given the opportunity to be rehabilitated and be redeemed. According to global human rights organization Amnesty International, the majority of the world's nations have already abolished capital punishment. Your kindness and respect for all humans touches us deeply. Your Holiness Pope Francis, may your wise words be heeded by all countries and respectful methods of rehabilitation be quickly implemented. Delivery of humanitarian aid to Pyongyang supported by United Nations. The UN Security Council has approved the measures drafted by the United States to make certain that delivery of humanitarian assistance proceeds without impediments to reach those in need in Pyongyang, Korea. Commenting on the new measures, head of aid operations for the International Committee of the Red Cross in Asia, Simon Shorno, said, We have been promised that they will speed up procedures, exemptions, and generally make processes run smoother. We're hopeful that the guidelines will make carrying out our work easier. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you, the United States and UN Security Council, for your caring actions and concerns. May the harmonious people of the Korean Peninsula be blessed with much abundance, as well as deepening peace and friendship. Up next on Noteworthy News, NGO supports free healthcare 
and Ghanaian community. It looks like a tiny bird is coming by our garden to say hello. We'll come out to visit for a minute. Be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more valuable news. A message from the SEALs reads, We want to help restore the balance in this part of the tip of Africa, and it is hoped that one day all species, both human and animal, will look upon each other as brothers and sisters. Francois Hugo, founder of SEAL Alert South Africa. Friends, I'm Akina, the Krishna Jinka, and I love being vegan. To help keep your digestive system healthy, remember to include fermented foods regularly in your diet. There are many to choose from, such as kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, and vegan yogurt. They assist in strengthening your gut microbiome for better digestion. Thank you for watching. And love you for being veg and going green to save the planet for all of us humans and non-humans alike. Now, weather from around the world.
and community benefits from free health care. And Chroma's Restoration of Hope, a United States-based NGO, has teamed up with Achima Kwanwoma in southern Ghana to provide free health care to the people of Babu community within the region. In addition to the free health screenings for a variety of ailments, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, the NGO also provided potable water, clothing, and shoes to help improve the lives of less fortunate individuals. The district chief executive of Achima Wanwoma, the Honorable Nana Ochiri Tawi, encouraged local residents to routinely seek health checkups and assured that the free health services will additionally be held in other communities within the district. Many thanks, Nkrumah's Restoration of Hope and Achima Kwanwoma District for your wonderful initiative. May caring organizations and governments continue to collaborate to provide beneficial health care for those in need around the world. Indian state enacts ruling to protect fish. The Indian state of Uttarakhand has outlawed catch and release fishing, also called angling, in rivers and streams of forest areas in protected regions and tiger reserves. The ban was approved by Uttarakhand's chief minister, the Honorable Travendra Singh Rawat, who referred to the trauma and pain angling inflicts on fish. The first Indian state to enact an angling ban Uttarakhand earlier passed a law stating that domestic and wild animals have a distinct persona with corresponding rights, duties, and liabilities of a living person. We are moved by your righteous and protective legislation and applaud you, Uttarakhand. May all animals on land and water bodies live in safety and continue to bless our world with their innocence and love. Australian state takes measures to protect children's health. The Australian state of Queensland is planning to ban the sale of unhealthy snacks and sugary drinks in hospitals and healthcare facilities. Furthermore, junk food advertisements in schools, sports grounds, public transport hubs, community recreation centers, and other government spaces will be phased out. Speaking of the upcoming changes, Health Minister, the Honorable Dr. Stephen Myers said, our public health facilities can lead by example. By the end of the year, we will have a set of nationally agreed standards for healthier food and drink choices and public health care facilities. Kudos, Queensland, on your new reforms that will surely enhance the well-being of your bright children and citizens. May this shining example inspire other states to take such positive measures. Coming up, Doctors from Singapore perform free surgeries for children in Cambodia. We'll take a moment to thank all religions and organizations that advocate a compassionate vegan way of life. We'll be right back with more caring news here on Supreme Master Television. Delicious vegetarian food is widely available online or at your nearby supermarkets, health shops, vegetarian food suppliers, and vegetarian restaurants. You can be vegan and you can be strong. Plant protein is adequate. You really do not need to eat meat to gain muscle. Be heroic. Be veg. Go green. Save the planet. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, hopeful news for a contented world. Children in Cambodia receive free surgery. Children with a condition known as cleft lip and palate received free surgery to correct the ailment. The surgeries, which took place over a period of five days, were performed through collaboration between the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital in Phnom Penh 
and a group of doctors from Singapore. Also, the hospital provided free accommodation and food to both the patients and their guardians. Our earnest appreciation for your generous assistance to children and their caregivers, Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital, and Singaporean doctors. May the sweet youngsters be blessed with a quick recovery and a life of good health and happy smiles in heaven's love. New Loving Heart welcomed in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Following the footsteps of Loving Heart Shen Yue and Loving Heart Lodong in the radiant Ilan County of Taiwan or Formosa, Loving Heart Song Fong Yin celebrated its joyous and auspicious grand opening. The eatery is part of the ever-growing global chain of 100% vegan restaurants, the Loving Heart International, which exemplifies Supreme Master Ching Hai's ideal of offering affordable, healthy, and scrumptious plant-based fare to all. Featuring well-known traditional Taiwanese or Formosan dishes, Loving Hut Song Fong Yin delights its customers with a variety of colorful classic vegan delicacies, including scrumptious noodle soups, and the popular signature dish, crispy, fragrant tofu. Ganyan 春树生活创造和平。春树生活创造和平。爱家宋风云，好吃。宜兰爱家宋风云，欢迎您吃素环保，才能救世界。谢谢。春树环保才能救世界。Congratulations, loving heart Song Fong Yin in Ilan, Taiwan or Formosa, on your successful opening. Our deep gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her loving encouragement of these life-affirming international vegan restaurants. We look forward to the day coming soon when the entire world embraces compassionate and delectable plant-based fare. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day entitled, A Little Faith. A climber fell off a cliff, and as he tumbled down, he caught hold of a small branch wedged in the rock. Full of fear, he cries out, Help! But there was no answer. Again and again, he cried out, but to no avail. Finally, he yelled, Help! Is anybody up there? A majestic voice boomed through the gorge. I will help you, my son. But first, you must have faith in me. Yes, yes, I trust you, cried the man. Let go of the branch, boomed the voice. Looking around, the man became full of panic. What? Have faith in me. Let go. I will catch you. There was a long pause, and the man shouted up again. Is there anyone else up there I could talk to? <laughs> And now, we have a heart line from Papaya in Korea. Hello, my family lives in Korea. This show is full of love. Thank you for the good news. My son especially likes the weather around the world. Papaya from Jeonbuk, Korea. Hello, Papaya. Thank you for your kind-hearted lines. We feel your love all the way from United Korea. Lots of smiles and hugs to you and your son. May heavens continue blessing peace-loving Korea, Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. 
please send them to Heartline at SupremeMasterTV.com. It's been a pleasure having your company on Noteworthy News. May you be graced with an abundance of gifts from heaven. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn. Pray to heaven for help. Why don't we just be the heaven, a refuge for other beings? Protect the meek, assist those in need. Be veg, go green, do good deeds. Save our home for the children's sake. Supreme Master Ching Hai. The soaring beauty and spiritual grace of the Universal Queen. Watch on to find out more. Today's show will be presented in Mongolian and English with subtitles in Arabic, Alaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Spanish and Thai. Хүчмийг дээдлэх жихэн үзэгчдтэйгээ сүрж авсанд цахан аймгаас дахь өмнө би мэдчилж байна. Монголын хөдөө нутгийн тэнгэрлэг аршаан ус уудам тэнгэр нь бидэнд мөнхийн эрхчлөө цаглашгүй амар амгалан сануулдаг билээ. 2009 оны 1 дугаар сарын 27-нд төгсгэгээрсэн их багш чинхан олон улсын нийгэмлэг дэлхийн дулаарлын олон улсын бага хурлыг Монгол улсын Улаанбаатар хотноо зохион байгуулсан билээ. Энэ нь Монголын үндэсний телевизээр радиогоор төдийгүй Supreme Master телевизээр олон улсад шууд цацагдсан билээ. 
Хүндэ зарчим болсон төгсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхэ эрхэм хүндтэй үзэгчдийн асуултад хариулахаар цаг гаргасан бөгөөд тэд түүний үзэл бодол цаг уурын өөрчлөлтийн хамгийн хурдан бөгөөд шилдэг шийдэл болсон энэрэнгүй веган амтнаас ангид хооллолтыг сонгох талаар хүн бүхэн дурайлахыг нь анхааралтайгаар сонссон юм. Дараа нь төгсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхэн шууд миний амьдралд хэмээх ангил хил дээр анх бичигдэж Аулаг буюу Вьетнам, Хятад, Франц, Герман хил дээр орчуулагдан гарсан олон улсад номер 1 шилдэг борлуулалттай номын Монгол болон Орос хил дээр шинхэн хуйлбарын нээлтийн баярыг тэмдэглэжээ. Үний дараа төгсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхэг гарыг дэлхийгээ аврын сэдвтэй гайхамшигт тоглолтод өрсөн. Видео бах хурлаар дамжуулж төгсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхэ Монголын уламжлалт бахтан сайхан үзүүлбэрт өөрийн магтаал болоод баяр жаргалаа халуун дулаанаар илэрхийлсэн билээ. Зарим гайхалтай үзүүлбэрүүд нь түүний хүндэтгэлд зориулагдчихээ. Нэвтрүүлгийнхээ хоёр дугаар хэсэгт бид Монгол улсын Улаанбаатар хотын соёлын төв орнд зохион байгуулагдсан гарыг дэлхийгээ аврын концертийн зарим гайхалтай үзүүлбэрүүдээс толиулах гэж буйда таатай байна. Queen Mother of Universe Singer Ganchimik Music by Alton Hoyk Word by Chanfar This song dedicated for Supreme Master Chin Hai
of a wife. Our next performance is Yet Me Become Your Best Help. Adantuya Erdenbayer Dancers of National Dance and Song Ensemble. Choreographer Bayer Batar. It, master yes yes i enjoy so much <laughs> i enjoy so much i'm surprised the program is beautiful thank you master i adore <laughs> adore thank you master i think everybody likes yeah everybody likes it the whole world likes it <laughs> the whole world audience likes it.
Gai Hartai, Gai Hartai. Chudeshna, Chudeshna. Sahan Sitil to Tichte, Uno Dring, Mongsian, Haritik Hiki, Auri Himich, Ung Jahazak Hut Briho, Hoyrdor Hisicht, Tantahamt Behat, Ton Tata Besa. Orodor Hiskik, Sinsari, Horn Tawny, Irk Mirmarkarit, Hulien of Jutsno. Urichton Tabuchen, Supreme Master Televizer, Graham Schicht Berli, Milig Bassung, Tani, Erudmind to Zolich Achtos, Hoyer Bullet Nifterudling, Nidwur Hisuk, Hurn. Udur Puchen ten Inet Hur, Kautzilden, the watching in Evader, Bishum Behek, Eroy. Kind hearted viewers. We were so happy to have you join us today for our colorful program, Sib Our World Concert from Mongolia, Part 204. Please join us again next Tuesday, September 25th, for Part 3. Up next is Wondrous Nature's Gift, T, Part 1 of 2, The Health Benefits on Supreme Master Television. We wish your days are filled with laughter, beauty, and heavenly grace. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash ee. Everybody here? Where's the birthday girl? Right here. <laughs> What's wrong, honey? This is that Mr. Chicken from our backyard. Just a vegetarian chicken on the table.
reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavours and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that grace and colour our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. A nice link means may the Supreme Being keep everyone well. Namharik. I am Mira from cheerful Addis Ababa and prospering Ethiopia. We feel honored to be in the same country with the peace leaders and government. May our peace last forever. means hello beautiful viewers from all over the world in Mandarin. I'm Ri Guang from Wise China. Our people congratulate you because protecting the planet is protecting ourselves and loved ones. How smart of you to do that. Thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, gracious news for a kinder world. Gracious news for a wondrous world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube and iOS or Android apps by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, the Vatican alters its stance on capital punishment. The United Nations approves humanitarian aid for those in need in Korea. Fish receive protection in Indian state. Queensland, Australia takes measures to protect children's health and new loving hut opens in Yilan County, Taiwan also known as Formosa. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. Vatican declares capital punishment is never admissible. The Vatican has officially made changes to the Catechism of the Roman Catholic Church to declare that capital punishment is never acceptable, no matter the crime. Modified to reflect His Holiness Pope Francis's opposition to capital punishment, the Catechism, which sets forth the Church's teachings, now states the death penalty is inadmissible because it's an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person. In an official letter to bishops, the Vatican explained that offenders should be given the opportunity to be rehabilitated and be redeemed. According to global human rights organization Amnesty International, the majority of the world's nations have already abolished capital punishment. Your kindness and respect for all humans touches us deeply. Your Holiness Pope Francis, may your wise words be heeded by all countries and respectful methods of rehabilitation be quickly implemented. Delivery of humanitarian aid to Pyongyang supported by United Nations. The UN Security Council has approved the measures drafted by the United States to make certain that delivery of humanitarian assistance proceeds without impediments to reach those in need in Pyongyang, Korea. 
commenting on the new measures, head of aid operations for the International Committee of the Red Cross in Asia, Simon Shorno, said, We have been promised that they will speed up procedures, exemptions, and generally make processes run smoother. We're hopeful that the guidelines will make carrying out our work easier. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you, the United States and UN Security Council, for your caring actions and concerns. May the harmonious people of the Korean Peninsula be blessed with much abundance, as well as deepening peace and friendship. Up next on Noteworthy News, NGO supports free health care in Ghanaian community. It looks like a tiny bird is coming by our garden to say hello. We'll come out to visit for a minute. Be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more valuable news. Looking for the coolest shop in town? At thecelestialshop.com, I can find everything I need at the tip of my paw. SM Loving Vegan Dog Food? Crunchy, scrumptious, yum, yum. I can eat them all day. Wow, look what I found. A nice, spacious house where I get to have my own patio and sunroof. And look at the selection of happy doggy clothes. So many different designs to choose from, and in all different sizes, makes any dog want to snuggle into a new pair of clothes. They even have the most comfortable bed in the whole wide world. So soft and cozy, and the base is anti-skid and waterproof. Makes me feel like a king. Finally, a store just for me. Woohoo! I'm in dog heaven. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come see what's here for you. TheCelestialShop.com Hi, friends. I'm Akina, the Krishna Jinka, and I love being vegan. To help keep your digestive system healthy, Remember to include fermented foods regularly in your diet. There are many to choose from such as kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, and vegan yogurt. They assist in strengthening your gut microbiome for better digestion. Thank you for watching and love you for being veg and going green to save the planet for all of us humans and non-humans alike. Now, weather from around the world.
Ukrainian community benefits from free health care. And Kruma's Restoration of Hope, a United States-based NGO, has teamed up with Achima Kwanwoma in southern Ghana to provide free health care to the people of Babu community within the region. In addition to the free health screenings for a variety of ailments, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, the NGO also provided potable water, clothing, and shoes to help improve the lives of less fortunate individuals. The district chief executive of Achima Wanwoma, the Honorable Nana Ochiri Tawi, encouraged local residents to routinely seek health checkups and assured that the free health services will additionally be held in other communities within the district. Many thanks, Nkrumah's Restoration of Hope and Achima Kwanwoma District for your wonderful initiative. May caring organizations and governments continue to collaborate to provide beneficial health care for those in need around the world. Indian state enacts ruling to protect fish. The Indian state of Uttarakhand has outlawed catch and release fishing, also called angling, in rivers and streams of forest areas in protected regions and tiger reserves. The ban was approved by Uttarakhand's chief minister, the Honorable Travendra Singh Rawat, who referred to the trauma and pain angling inflicts on fish. The first Indian state to enact an angling ban Uttarakhand earlier passed a law stating that domestic and wild animals have a distinct persona with corresponding rights, duties, and liabilities of a living person. We are moved by your righteous and protective legislation and applaud you, Uttarakhand. May all animals on land and water bodies live in safety and continue to bless our world with their innocence and love. Australian state takes measures to protect children's health. The Australian state of Queensland is planning to ban the sale of unhealthy snacks and sugary drinks in hospitals and healthcare facilities. Furthermore, junk food advertisements in schools, sports grounds, public transport hubs, community recreation centers, and other government spaces will be phased out. Speaking of the upcoming changes, Health Minister, the Honorable Dr. Stephen Myers said, our public health facilities can lead by example. By the end of the year, we will have a set of nationally agreed standards for healthier food and drink choices and public health care facilities. Kudos, Queensland, on your new reforms that will surely enhance the well-being of your bright children and citizens. May this shining example inspire other states to take such positive measures. Coming up, Doctors from Singapore perform free surgeries for children in Cambodia. We'll take a moment to thank all religions and organizations that advocate a compassionate vegan way of life. We'll be right back with more caring news here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, hopeful news for a contented world. Children in Cambodia receive free surgery. Children with a condition known as cleft lip and palate received free surgery to correct the ailment. The surgeries, which took place over a period of five days, were performed through collaboration between the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital in Phnom Penh and a group of doctors from Singapore. Also, the hospital provided free accommodation and food to both the patients and their guardians. Our earnest appreciation for your generous assistance to children and their caregivers, Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital, and Singaporean doctors. May the sweet youngsters be blessed with a quick recovery and a life of good health and happy smiles and heaven's love.
New Loving Hat welcomed in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Following the footsteps of Loving Hat Shen Yue and Loving Hat Lu Dong in the radiant Ilan County of Taiwan or Formosa, Loving Hat Song Fong Yin celebrated its joyous and auspicious grand opening. The eatery is part of the ever-growing global chain of 100% vegan restaurants, the Loving Hut International, which exemplifies Supreme Master Ching Hai's ideal of offering affordable, healthy, and scrumptious plant-based fare to all. Featuring well-known traditional Taiwanese or Formosan dishes, Loving Hut Song Fong Yin delights its customers with a variety of colorful classic vegan delicacies, including scrumptious noodle soups and the popular signature dish, crispy, fragrant tofu. Ganghan 纯素生活创造和平，纯素生活创造和平，爱家双风吟，好吃。好吃。宜兰爱家双风吟，欢迎您吃素环保才能救世界，谢谢。纯素环保才能救世界。Congratulations, loving heart song Fong Yin in Ilan, Taiwan or Formosa, on your successful opening. Our deep gratitude. To Supreme Master Ching Hai for her loving encouragement of these life affirming international vegan restaurants. We look forward to the day coming soon when the entire world embraces compassionate and delectable plant based fare. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day entitled A Little Faith. A climber fell off a cliff, and as he tumbled down, he caught hold of a small branch wedged in the rock. Full of fear, he cries out, Help! But there was no answer. Again and again, he cried out, but to no avail. Finally, he yelled, Help! Is anybody up there? A majestic voice boomed through the gorge. I will help you, my son. But first, you must have faith in me. Yes, yes, I trust you, cried the man. Let go of the branch, boomed the voice. Looking around, the man became full of panic. What? Have faith in me. Let go, I will catch you. There was a long pause, and the man shouted up again. Is there anyone else up there I could talk to? <laughs> And now we have a heart line from Papaya in Korea. Hello, my family lives in Korea. This show is full of love. Thank you for the good news. My son especially likes the weather around the world. Papaya from Jeonbuk, Korea. Hello, Papaya. Thank you for your kind hearted lines. We feel your love all the way from United Korea. Lots of smiles and hugs to you and your son. May heavens continue blessing peace loving Korea, Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. It's been a pleasure having your company on Noteworthy News. May you be graced with an abundance of gifts from heaven. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet.
May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. Ik ben Marianne Thieme, fractievoorzitter voor de Partij voor de Dieren in de Tweede Kamer in Nederland. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Xin các bạn chào, xin kính chào quý khán giả. Xin quý vị ăn chay, sống xanh, cứu địa cầu. Be veg, go green to save the planet. the six categories of tea and each of their nutritional and healing properties. Please stay tuned to find out more. Today's program will be presented in Chinese with subtitles in Arabic, Oasis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Spanish, and Thai. Hello,观众,您们好。欢迎收看无上师电视台。我是雨杰,来自亲切,美丽又奇妙的台湾。有成福尔摩沙,我国人民为您献上神圣的爱与祝福。在这棵星球上，有如恒河沙树般的树叶，没有一种能像今天我们要分享的树叶那样的耀眼和备受瞩目。它曾是古时候的珍贵解药，稀有瑰宝，也是虔诚藏人朝圣路上的动力。它是西
，树龄有三千两百多岁，树高十点六米，树干需要八个人手牵手才能环抱得住。如果你第一次见到茶树上既有花又有果，可能会感到疑惑。这是因为茶树的花蕾通常在六七月生成，十月开始结果，然后隔年十月成熟，那时也恰逢新一季的花朵盛开。春天来临，茶树从冬季沉睡中苏醒。远远望去，整片茶园犹如蒙着一层嫩绿面纱的少女。她的嫩绿小脸上满是问号，不晓得自己今年会成为哪种茶。采茶人的指尖轻盈飞舞，迅速采摘着新芽嫩叶，其中品质最好的。会被用来制作绿茶，比如中国四川的竹叶青，只用刚长出来的新芽；而西湖的龙井茶，则采用新芽和最嫩的叶；安徽的霍山黄茶，只采用新长出的芽和二到三片的嫩叶。对于制作红茶和乌龙茶的叶片，要求就不那么严格。可以采摘新芽以下的第二到第三片的嫩叶。一般来说，大约四公斤的新芽嫩叶可制成一公斤的烘焙茶叶。茶树被采摘的次数取决于当地的日照气温。的观众，我们来享受一杯甘甜的清茶，马上回来。Mm-hmm. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace. Supreme Master Ching Hai presents the major factors associated with global warming, and more importantly, its root cause: the livestock industry. The smartest way would be to stop the worsening of global warming by being vegan. It sounds very simple, but it is the best solution, the most effective, and the effect of it will be felt almost immediately. A must-have for you and your friends. From Crisis to Peace book, free to download at crisis2peace.org. Welcome to continue watching the Supreme Master TV program. Let's continue exploring different kinds of vegetables and their nutrient content. 为什么茶叶如此受欢迎？奥秘就在这些普通叶子内，竟然含有几百种营养成分。在这些营养成分之中，茶多酚、氨基酸和咖啡因是决定茶叶颜色和口味的三个主要成分。这些营养成分还有哪些特性呢？茶多酚是一种天然的抗氧化剂，被称为“神奇的人体保鲜剂”。它可以有效清除体内过多的自由基，提高人体内在的抗氧化能力。充足的光照和高温会增加茶叶中茶多酚的含量。这样的茶叶比较适合做成红茶，所以肯雅、印度。斯里兰卡等热带国家
，盛产红茶。这些国家出产的茶叶香气浓郁，口感醇厚，汤色鲜红浓艳。难怪红茶成为全世界销量最大的茶。茶氨酸是氨基酸的一种，可作为调味剂。茶氨酸含量较高的茶叶适合制作绿茶。日照不足和低温会帮助茶叶增加茶氨酸的含量。为了制作鲜美芳香的抹茶。在采摘前一个月，得用网子给茶树遮阳。优质的绿茶多出自中国浙江和日本等地。茶氨酸具有提高人体免疫力、抵抗病毒入侵、缓解女性经期综合症、增强肝脏排毒功能、提高智力和记忆力等效果。茶氨酸也可以入药，可以有镇静、改善睡眠的作用。茶氨酸含量的高低是评定绿茶品质的标准。茶氨酸的含量越高，表示绿茶的品质越好。咖啡因是茶叶里面的生物碱，茶叶中的咖啡因虽有苦味，却有提神醒脑、消除疲劳的效用。咖啡因入药能帮助减肥，降低胆结石风险和防止男性脱发。咖啡因被广泛应用在饮料、印刷和油漆等行业。相较于茶叶和咖啡中萃取的咖啡因，人工合成的咖啡因由于价格低廉，普遍被市场采用。但是在合成的过程中，需要使用许多有毒的化学成分，导致大量有毒工业废水的排放，最终污染了环境。目前，部分国家已禁止使用人工合成咖啡因。我们希望有更多国家关注对环境的保护，全面禁止制造及使用人工合成咖啡因。茶是如何分类呢？在茶叶制作过程中，多酚的氧化要靠多酚氧化酶来催化，这是茶叶发酵的主要过程。发酵程度直接影响茶的颜色及口味。发酵过程中，多种营养成分之间巧妙的生化转换，最后。让茶呈现出特有的颜色和香气。茶叶一般分为六大类，即白茶、绿茶、黄茶、青茶、黑茶和红茶。每种茶的发酵过程不同，因此具有各自独特的营养和疗愈属性。白茶为不发酵茶，制作时不炒不揉，采下的新鲜茶叶直接自然晾晒，再经文火烘干，因此全程没有太多的茶多酚被氧化。完好保留茶芽大部分的天然成分，因茶氨酸含量高达百分之六至百分之九。而被称为最精致的茶，白茶可作为有效的抗菌剂、解毒剂和退热药，它还能降火，是夏天的最佳茶饮。绿茶也是不发酵茶。制作时，通过高温杀青，让多酚氧化酶失去活性，因此茶多酚得以最大程度的保留，同时保持住茶叶的鲜度和翠绿。所以，绿茶清香爽口，具有延缓衰老
预防癌症和保护牙齿等益处。黄茶，轻微发酵的茶，比绿茶更加温和。制茶时，先做成绿茶，再进行无酶催化的发酵，这过程又称为后发酵。黄茶对益菌、帮助消化、化痰、止咳等方面有不错的功效。清茶又称为乌龙茶，制作过程中让多酚的氧化作用失去部分活性，茶多酚的含量是介于红茶与绿茶之间。部分发酵的乌龙茶能创造千变万化的香气，它对单纯性肥胖的减重和皮肤保水等很有用。黑茶也是后发酵茶，发酵时间长达七至八天。黑茶曾是游牧民族的生命之音，被藏族人称为“甘露之海”。黑茶的有机酸含量很高。可以改善人体肠胃功能，还具有降脂减肥的功效。红茶为全发酵茶，制作过程中，茶叶充分发酵，利用多酚氧化酶和茶多酚的作用。让颜色发生一连串的奇妙变化。茶多酚首先变成黄色的茶黄素，再变成红色的茶红素，接着变成黑褐色的茶褐素。红茶除了提神醒脑、消除疲劳和抗氧化的功效外，它也有很好的抗癌作用。让我们泡上一杯好茶，表达我们的感激之情，感谢上天对人类的恩赐，感谢大地之母对茶树的养育，感谢全世界的茶工，制作出如此美妙神奇的饮品。明天，我们将带您上茶馆，学习如何泡一杯美味的乌龙茶。我们也会在月圆之下享受月饼。明天同一时间，请继续收看我们节目，接着播出《师徒之间》节目，《青海无上师讲经节录》，纯素是地球永续的唯一方案，三集之三。愿您一边品尝芳香好茶，一边享受轻松愉快的一天。祝您有美好的一天。Coming up next is the only way to a sustainable planet: be vegan. Excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures, Part Three of Three, on Between Master and Disciples. May you have a relaxing and enjoyable day over an aromatic cup of nice tea. Have a wonderful day. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash veg.
They live on a planet that is 80% covered by water. Water connects them. It sustains their very lives. And if it's polluted, it will harm them. We're not talking about whales. We're talking about ourselves. Remember, the Earth is a water planet. Reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co inhabitants with the amazing animals that grace and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility, through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life saving actions, is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like? Without our fun and intelligent animal friends, we simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. A nice delay means may the supreme being. Keep everyone well, and I'm Harik. I am Mira from cheerful Addis Ababa and prospering Ethiopia. We feel honored to be in the same country with the peace leaders and government. May our peace last forever. Ni hao. 世界各地美丽的观众们 means hello, beautiful viewers from all over the world in Mandarin. I'm Ri Guang from Wise China. Our people congratulate you because protecting the planet is protecting ourselves and loved ones. How smart of you to do that! Thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, gracious news for a kinder world. Gracious news for a wondrous world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, and iOS or Android apps. By searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, the Vatican alters its stance on capital punishment. The United Nations approves humanitarian aid for those in need in Korea. Fish receive protection in Indian state. Queensland, Australia takes measures to protect children's health, and new loving hut opens in Yilan County, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. Vatican declares capital punishment is never admissible. The Vatican has officially made changes to the Catechism of the Roman Catholic Church to declare that capital punishment is never acceptable, no matter the crime. Modified to reflect His Holiness Pope Francis's opposition to capital punishment, the Catechism, which sets forth the Church's teachings, now states the death penalty is inadmissible because it's an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person. In an official letter to bishops, the Vatican explained that 
offenders should be given the opportunity to be rehabilitated and be redeemed. According to global human rights organization Amnesty International, the majority of the world's nations have already abolished capital punishment. Your kindness and respect for all humans touches us deeply. Your Holiness Pope Francis, may your wise words be heeded by all countries and respectful methods of rehabilitation be quickly implemented. Delivery of humanitarian aid to Pyongyang supported by United Nations. The UN Security Council has approved the measures drafted by the United States to make certain that delivery of humanitarian assistance proceeds without impediments to reach those in need in Pyongyang, Korea. Commenting on the new measures, Head of Aid Operations for the International Committee of the Red Cross in Asia, Simon Shorno, said, We have been promised that they will speed up procedures, exemptions, and generally make processes run smoother. We're hopeful that the guidelines will make carrying out our work easier. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you, the United States and UN Security Council, for your caring actions and concerns. May the harmonious people of the Korean Peninsula be blessed with much abundance, as well as deepening peace and friendship. Up next on Noteworthy News, NGO supports free health care in Ghanaian community. It looks like a tiny bird is coming by our garden to say hello. We'll come out to visit for a minute. Be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more valuable news. do you brew a pot of good tea? How much do you know about vegan mooncakes? Do you know they go hand in hand when celebrating the traditional mid-autumn mooncake festival in Asia? Wondrous Nature's Gift, Tea, Part 2 of 2. Learn the secrets of brewing good tea and enjoy loving up mooncakes in its fragrance. Please, Find out more on Sunday, September 23rd, 2018. Hi friends, I'm Akina, the Krishna Jinka, and I love being vegan. To help keep your digestive system healthy, remember to include fermented foods regularly in your diet. There are many to choose from such as kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, and vegan yogurt. They assist in strengthening your gut microbiome for better digestion. Thank you for watching and love you for being veg and going green to save the planet for all of us humans and non-humans alike. Now. Weather from around the world.
Ghanaian community benefits from free health care. Nkrumah's Restoration of Hope, a United States-based NGO, has teamed up with Achima Kwanwoma in southern Ghana to provide free health care to the people of Babu community within the region. In addition to the free health screenings for a variety of ailments, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, the NGO also provided potable water, clothing, and shoes to help improve the lives of less fortunate individuals. The district chief executive of Achima Wanwoma, the Honorable Nana Ochiri Tawi, encouraged local residents to routinely seek health checkups and assured that the free health services will additionally be held in other communities within the district. Many thanks, Nkrumah's Restoration of Hope and Achima Kwanwoma District for your wonderful initiative. May caring organizations and governments continue to collaborate to provide beneficial health care for those in need around the world. Indian state enacts ruling to protect fish. The Indian state of Uttarakhand has outlawed catch-and-release fishing, also called angling, in rivers and streams of forest areas in protected regions and tiger reserves. The ban was approved by Uttarakhand's chief minister, the Honorable Travendra Singh Rawat, who referred to the trauma and pain angling inflicts on fish. The first Indian state to enact an angling ban Uttarakhand earlier passed a law stating that domestic and wild animals have a distinct persona with corresponding rights, duties, and liabilities of a living person. We are moved by your righteous and protective legislation and applaud you, Uttarakhand. May all animals on land and water bodies live in safety and continue to bless our world with their innocence and love. Australian state takes measures to protect children's health. The Australian state of Queensland is planning to ban the sale of unhealthy snacks and sugary drinks in hospitals and healthcare facilities. Furthermore, junk food advertisements in schools, sports grounds, public transport hubs, community recreation centers, and other government spaces will be phased out. Speaking of the upcoming changes, Health Minister, the Honorable Dr. Stephen Miles said, our public health facilities can lead by example. By the end of the year, we will have a set of nationally agreed standards for healthier food and drink choices and public health care facilities. Kudos, Queensland, on your new reforms that will surely enhance the well-being of your bright children and citizens. May this shining example inspire other states to take such positive measures. Coming up, Doctors from Singapore perform free surgeries for children in Cambodia. We'll take a moment to thank all religions and organizations that advocate a compassionate vegan way of life. We'll be right back with more caring news here on Supreme Master Television. It's frustrating. Sad. There you are in the supermarket, and they just walk by. Like they don't even know. Don't know what, Mr. Banana? What we do. How we can help. I, I just can't take it. Doctors know that a vegetarian diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can help prevent certain cancers, obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. How can they even sell hamburgers? Now, now. I'm glad I said it. Brought to you by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. I, I feel better. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, hopeful news for a contented world. Children in Cambodia receive free surgery. Children with a condition known as cleft lip and palate received free surgery to correct the ailment. The surgeries, which took place over a period of five days, were performed through collaboration between the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital in Phnom Penh and a group of doctors from Singapore. Also, the hospital provided free accommodation and food to both the patients and their guardians. Our earnest appreciation for your generous assistance to children and their caregivers, Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital, and Singaporean doctors. May the sweet youngsters be blessed with a quick recovery and a life of good health and happy smiles in heaven's love. <laughs> Chuan Su Shan Ho Chuan Zhao He 
new loving hat welcomed in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Following the footsteps of Loving Hat Shen Yue and Loving Hat Lodong in the radiant Ilan County of Taiwan or Formosa, Loving Hat Song Fong Yin celebrated its joyous and auspicious grand opening. The eatery is part of the ever growing global chain of 100% vegan restaurants, the Loving Hat International, which exemplifies Supreme Master Ching Hai's ideal of offering affordable healthy and scrumptious plant-based fare to all. Featuring well-known traditional Taiwanese or Formosan dishes, Loving Hut Song Fong Yin delights its customers with a variety of colorful classic vegan delicacies, including scrumptious noodle soups, and the popular signature dish, crispy, fragrant tofu. Chin 纯素生活创造和平，纯素生活创造和平，爱家松风吟，好吃。宜兰爱家松风吟，欢迎您吃素环保才能救世界。谢谢。纯素环保才能救世界。Congratulations, Loving Heart Song Fong Yin in Ilan, Taiwan or Formosa, on your successful opening. Our deep gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her loving encouragement of these life-affirming international vegan restaurants. We look forward to the day coming soon when the entire world embraces compassionate and delectable plant-based fare. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day entitled, A Little Faith. A climber fell off a cliff, and as he tumbled down, he caught hold of a small branch wedged in the rock. Full of fear, he cries out, Help! But there was no answer. Again and again, he cried out, but to no avail. Finally, he yelled, Help! Is anybody up there? A majestic voice boomed through the gorge. I will help you, my son. But first, you must have faith in me. Yes, yes, I trust you, cried the man. Let go of the branch, boomed the voice. Looking around, the man became full of panic. What? Have faith in me. Let go, I will catch you. There was a long pause, and the man shouted up again. Is there anyone else up there I could talk to? <laughs> And now we have a heart line from Papaya in Korea. Hello, my family lives in Korea. This show is full of love. Thank you for the good news. My son especially likes the weather around the world. Papaya from Jeonbuk, Korea. Hello, Papaya. Thank you for your kind hearted lines. We feel your love all the way from United Korea. Lots of smiles and hugs to you and your son. May heavens continue blessing peace-loving Korea, Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. It's been a pleasure having your company on Noteworthy News. May you be graced with an abundance of gifts from heaven. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. 
May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. www.thecelestialshop.com, edenrules.com, and smchbooks.com. The weather has changed in many places drastically because we, people cut too many trees and they cannot grow fast enough to replace them. And the weather changes and the rains has been all washed away instead of, instead of preserved in the earth. Because trees, they attract rain and also they keep the water in the sand and it flows slowly down and it preserves the mountain. Also preserve the stream and the, the, the river and all that. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Alegres saludos, preciados televidentes. Mi nombre es Gloria, desde la Ciudad del Este, en La Paraguay. Paraguay, en lengua indígena, significa río que pertenece al mar. Sus verdes colinas onduladas, sus ricos suelos, y sus exuberantes bosques prístinos impresionaron tanto a los primeros exploradores que lo llamaron un segundo Edén. Con numerosos grandes ríos, lagos cristalinos y exuberantes humedales, 
han alimentado una notable civilización con un rico patrimonio artístico. Paraguay también comparte el segundo acuífero de agua dulce más grande del mundo, el acuífero guaraní, con tres países vecinos. Los paraguayos manifiestan un amplio espectro de relaciones armoniosas entre el hombre y el agua y el hombre y la naturaleza. Las abundantes bendiciones de la naturaleza han ayudado a los paraguayos a perfeccionar el arte de la hospitalidad. Amante de la naturaleza, estamos encantados de presentarles brevemente a la fascinante Paraguay. Deseamos que cada día los acerque más al Espíritu Divino. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada. Imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, y Guru Nanak, y muchos más. Ella empatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la Tierra. La Maestra Suprema Jin Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor, a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. En el 2006, ella recibió el Premio Gusi de la Paz, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. Una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales. Ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas. Un tranquilo y glorioso mundo, completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Lavin Hub, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no. Sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser 
puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones, a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias titulada el único camino hacia un planeta sostenible es ser vegano. Extracto de las conferencias de la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai, parte 3 de 3, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés. The trees are there for beauty and for protection. It's good for your car when it's summer too hot, and when it snow a lot, it stops some of the snow, okay? And scatter all over instead of all falling on your car. <laughs> it's very good. And the wind and all that, you know, it's good for your car and good for you. Hmm? I don't try to cut all of them out. <laughs> We try to preserve them, you know? And meanwhile, can use them. That's why I think, uh, I think um, this car park is the best. Hmm? Yeah, and later, if if it's necessary, we can sprinkle some gravels huh, on top of it. But if the earth is hard enough and it doesn't cause trouble, then we just keep it like that. Hmm? And also, when you pitch your tent, please don't clean the leaves, the dry leaves. Keep your tents good. Keep your tent, you know, protected from the moist ground. It's soft. Keep your tent soft, yeah, like carpet. So it's very good for you. Also, when you take your tent away, mm, the earth will not become naked, and the rain will not uh, flow all the water down, or all the, the the earth down. And later we have mountain no more. So just keep the the leaves there clean. The leaves are very clean and very soft. Yeah, and beautiful for for your feet. It's very soft like carpet. So I saw that many uh, places where you camp, you, you clean all the <laughs> the leaves. This <laughs> is very very uh, unintelligent, huh? <laughs> yeah. We should try to enjoy nature and 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 preserve the natural environment. They're always good for us, yeah. Mm. That's why I don't allow people to cut the trees where it's not necessary. Yeah, the weather has changed in many places drastically because we people cut too many trees, and they cannot grow fast enough to replace them. And the weather changes, and the rains has been all washed away instead of instead of preserved in the earth because trees they attract rain and also they keep the water. You understand? And it flows slowly down, and it preserves the mountain, also preserves the stream and the, the, the river and all that. If we cut all the trees, we will be short of water, and the weather will change drastically that we could not bear. That's why many places, many countries, they are short of water, yeah? Sometimes because they cut trees at random. Uh, not considering how it will be after, in the future, you know. Because our children still have to, to live on, you know, they will go on to live. After we die, after I die, this center is still here, and your children will come, understand? So it's not for one day, two days that you use any places, you have to keep them for the future. It's all for your good, yeah? It's, we have to preserve things that we enjoy. We have to think ahead into the future, not just that, oh, I can use it today, tomorrow, I don't care, you know, and damage everything. That's how people damage many beautiful places and cut so many trees and kill so many animals, yeah? Animals are there for some reason, you know, for some reason. They also 
inhabitants of the earth. Uh, we have no right to kill them. Mm. Sometimes uh, I I've heard some some people say that the research has um, announced that animals they heal. Sometimes they heal people heal sickness. Sometimes probably because of their love. Yeah. Mm. That's why many people uh, like to keep dogs and cats because they are so loving and probably they are so soothing somehow to them so that you could keep them. The same trees and uh, water, yeah, forest, they also heal. Yeah. Don't you feel better when you walk a little bit in the forest? Yeah. Your eyes feel better? No? Yes. And your lungs... Feels good, huh? And your skin feels smoother, huh? And your mood is calmer, no? It is all due to the nature, the trees, and the air that they breathe out to give us the oxygen. Yeah. The voice is very necessary to keep nature intact as much as we can. Hmm? We have big land, and we can afford to just park between trees, yeah? Because when you park over here between the trees, and sometimes you don't feel like walking down right right away down yet, you just saw a friend, you can just stand underneath of the tree next to your car and have just a few words with each other. It's better than standing on top of the, how to say, the, the, the overheat cement concrete floor, yeah? And then talk, <laughs> and then both also smoking up. <laughs> they had <to> smoke up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I give people a very hard feeling, you know, <laughs> standing on the concrete floor. So I think uh, I like to preserve the trees, not not only because for me, but just for everyone, for America, for the world. Yeah, everywhere we go, we have to try to protect nature. Especially now that we are a so-called meditator, we are very sensitive to the environment and to the need of other people. Mm. It takes 20 years, maybe, to grow until the, the tree is that big, you know? Very seldom I allow to cut big trees, except when it's absolutely in the way. But even then, only when necessary. Yes. Otherwise, I don't let them cut him. Mm. It's difficult to grow a tree, but easy to cut it. Uh, well, not necessary. Why? I cannot bear that. You know, it's a cruelty, inconsideration. So, try to understand this. Huh? Not only here, but wherever you go. Try to preserve nature. A waste of time. Eh? A waste the beauty of nature. And we waste manpower. And sometimes waste money, yeah? You cut a tree, sometimes your, your soul will go kaput. <laughs> I'm very protective with trees, animals, you know, grasses, everything. Very protective because I feel hurt when they are destroyed, you know? Even with reason, it's already bad enough. But we can't just be too ridiculously strict. You understand what I mean? But we, we cannot just cut things at random. It shows our, our how to say, cold-blooded nature. It's no good, huh? When I was uh, a little bit younger, maybe about 15 years ago, plant a lot of kind of house plants, make it look fresh and green, you know, because in the city you have nothing. <laughs> so I try to make it beautiful. You know how I love beauty and try to arrange things according to the circumstances to improve the nature of the place. Anyhow, many plants are there, and it's beautiful, beautiful, no problem at all, until that guy, he thinks that it's better for the plant to, to have uh, ultraviolet, uh, violin light or something like that. So he bought a so big, huge violet lamp, two or three, and put them scarily in front of the plant, <laughs> like this. And I have warned them that they are very strong. If you want to put 
far away and when at the time. Because that should be enough. Because also in the daytime we keep the neon lamps burning because that's also kind of life for them. And they grow fine. Not no complaint. So green, so so lush and it's no problem. Very shiny, you know? And I clean them sometimes and and you know I, I pump water. Yes. I dare not put the whole waterfall in, but I just spray them. Make it a misty and I love that. Until that guy, he put that violet lamp there. And I have told him not to do it, you know, but they don't listen. And so many of my plants burn to death. Oh, I cry, you know, I cry. I was so hurt for the plant. When I see like that, I, I, I nearly drop down on my knees, you know. I feel so hurt because I feel the plant get hurt. I feel as though if I am burned like that, how would I feel, you understand? And especially the plant, they cannot speak. They're helpless. They just stand there and get burnt slowly like that. Oh, the feeling is so awful, you understand? As though if they are human, I feel like that. I'm very protective. That was before I even practiced Kuan Yin method. So you can understand now, my feeling must be more, even more intense than that, more sensitive than that. So I think you should understand if I don't let you cut trees. The time is right that everybody should push for peace now at any price. Mm -hmm. Yes, because without peace we cannot build anything up. There are more pressing matter now than killing, my God. There are global warming, there's ice melting. And it's not just warming. If after it's warming, it might get cold. Do you understand me? And that's even worse. If it's warm, you jump into the water. If it's too cold, I don't know if you have enough thing to keep you warm. If it's go freezing, freezing all the time, and you're getting worse because of some uh, change in the atmosphere, it might get freezing even after the warming period. Sometimes the pollution, it damages the layer, the ozone layer, yes, and then all the heat maybe escape. After a while, we don't have any heat. And then maybe too much pollution cover the, uh, the, the sun and everything, and maybe too much uh, changing, and then everything will go so bad and it might be freezing even. It's even worse also, yeah? Yeah, I watched in one of the British channel before, some document, a very scary. They say as much as the global warming, the sun uh, also getting colder somehow. Yeah, so warming and cold. In some part too cold, warm, and then some part will be too cold. Or then after warm will be cold. And if it's too warm, then the, the ice will melt and then we have flood, you know? And if after that, you know, there are no ice left to, to balance the, the, the thing anyway, and that either the planet will become very heated, yeah? Or it could be very cold because of too much uh, covering or the ozone layer broken. So many things can happen, you know? And uh, it, it can happen <laughs> soon, huh? Many decades, it's not long. Huh? Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, it's time for all the people of every mm -hmm. country should get together and think of the solution quick. You know, something with uh, sustainable energy, mm -hmm. yeah, solar power, wind power. Mm -hmm. uh, we can install it in our home if you can afford it. Or you can put money together and install one mm -hmm. home at a time, mm -hmm. okay? Like, okay, you and you pitch money together, install in your home. Mm -hmm draw a lot to see whose house get installed first. So it's fair, you know? And then next time we pitch money together and install it in her home. Something like that. When I live in the mountain, I live only with solar energy. I charge my phone with solar energy. I watch TV with solar energy. My fridge runs on solar energy. It's a, it's a little complicated, but you can learn. To save lives, we must learn. Mm -hmm. To save the planet, mm -hmm. it's worth it. It's complicated, but, but it's not undoable. It's simple enough to do it. Like you have to capture the solar energy into some batteries, and then you connect with that battery to use it to run your household. At least you can save many. 
and you save money in the long run anyway. You can sell it back to the government even. In Spain, it's like that. And wind power also. It might be difficult, but you can install small wind fan. Turbine. Wind mill. Wind mill. The, the old-fashioned way. Also, it does work. The turbine <laughs> takes a longer time and a lot of money. and Maybe it's not so in yet, so you can't get it so easily, huh? But you can do it, huh? You can do that. Yeah? Do what you can, okay? And go together in one car to work or to shop together, yeah? In one car, save money, save energy. And buy the, those, uh, if you can, hybrid car. They're not that expensive. For example, Toyota uh, Priors. Something like that. And it's very modernized. It has everything in it. I got one. Maybe uh, it costs you in the beginning, but later it saves you a lot. And it saves your life too. It saves life everybody else, you know? It doesn't have to be Toyota. It can be also a smart car, you know? There are many other cars, Honda and all that, you know? Or other different cars. But you can uh, check on the internet, you know, which car is cheaper and more convenient for you. And soon in the future, we have to run it on sustainable fuel, you know, like garbage. Yeah, we can recycle garbage. And uh, maybe we don't even have to do that if they push the program with the wave energy, you know. A long time ago, in Norway, they had begun that program to use ocean waves as energy. And that would be limitless. You can use forever, just like the sun. I have sent some financial support to support this program also. They're pushing out at it. It's just a good thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Energy is free everywhere, actually. Limitless, limitless. There will be no cost for anybody. It should be free for everybody. You know the basic thing in life? Like water, electricity should be free, actually. Yeah, and it soon will be free. All this money that put into war, my God, we could build a paradise on Earth. It's about time that everybody should know about this. And if you know any of a government important person, you remind them by writing, or do something. Just leave the meat alone and we have everything else. Even oil is fine. Even oil, if we have it, we can use it until we have something better for our planet. But if we stop the animal, raising, stop animal product, then we cut a big percentage, 80% of pollution to our planet and stop 80% of global warming. So we can continue to have oil and cars. I know people will be surprised hearing me saying this, but no, it is true like that because we have not invented enough instrument for transportation and other uses. So we may continue to use the oil if we have it. Of course, the better if we don't use, but at the moment we must use it. And if we just leave all the meat animal production alone, then we can use anything. Sustainable energy in general is also showing itself to be very profitable and job producing to people. So there can be both economic and environmental benefit from developing sustainable energy and the earth will be protected. But Animals industry is the number one enemy of our survival. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free to download at crisistopeace.org. Inspirados televidentes, apreciamos su compañía en el episodio de hoy, titulado El único camino hacia un planeta sostenible, es ser vegano. Extractos de las conferencias de la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai, parte 3 de 3, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos.
por favor sigan sintonizados a Supreme Master Television para una programación más positiva. A continuación sigue del Zoroastrismo el Sagrado Menogi Krat capítulos 4, 13, parte 2 de 2 en palabras de sabiduría. Que la providencia adorne sus vidas con bendiciones desbordantes. May providence grace your life with overflowing blessings. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. Smoking bans save lives. Quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake, reduces the risk of strokes by more than half. United Kingdom's ban on smoking in public places reduces passive smoke effects, which are linked to loss of life for more than 11,000 people every year. In the U.S., the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration said that sales of tobacco to underage youth have reached all-time lows in all 50 states. The number of young smokers aged 18 to 29 has fallen by 30% in Victoria, Australia, thanks to smoking bans in pubs and clubs. Smoking rates in Japan have been declining since 1996. Smoking bans mean decreases in acute coronary syndrome. A study in Mississippi, USA, found that heart attacks were reduced by 27% three years after indoor smoking was banned, with similar bans in 11 other worldwide locations also showing a reduction in both heart attacks and heart disease. Rome, Italy experienced an 11.2% decrease in acute coronary events in the first year after a smoking ban in public places went into effect. Israeli researchers report that for people who are able to stop smoking, the increased risk of sudden cardiac death seems to disappear immediately. The National Sanitary Institute in France announced a significant decrease in heart attack rates following the country's smoking ban, with benefits also noted for decrease in secondhand smoke inhalation effects. New York, USA experienced an 8% decline in hospital admissions for acute myocardial infarction after a comprehensive smoking ban which translates into healthcare savings of 56 million US dollars in one year. Smoking bans mean better health. A US medical study finds that quitting smoking has nearly immediate benefits, including lowered blood pressure and reduced heart attack risk within 24 hours. Data from the National Population Health Survey shows those who smoke have higher rates of chronic conditions, such as bronchitis, asthma, and high blood pressure. Smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke develop colon cancer about seven years earlier than non-smokers. Smoking bans mean healthier children. Research from the Michigan State University in the USA and the David Hyde Asthma and Allergy Research Center in the UK show that the smoking habits of mothers during pregnancy increase asthma risks in some children. Children regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have more than triple the risk of lung cancer, as well as higher risks of other respiratory problems later in life. Smoking bans are good for business. In his annual report, UK Chief Medical Officer Liam Donaldson said a public smoking ban would save an estimated 2.7 billion pounds. 680 million pounds saved by having a healthier and more efficient workforce. 140 million pounds saved through fewer sick days. 430 million pounds saved from productivity loss from smoking on the job. 100 million pounds saved from cleanup costs related to cigarette smoking. Plus more. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash arms-benefits-flyer. Dash dash